Hi everyone, if you could just let me know whether you can hear me and see my screen, just put in the chat box uh, uh, why. Cool, sounds like everyone's hearing all right. You're welcome, Roland. Hi, Marcus. Hi, Steve. Okay, well, tonight's webinar uh, is just a rundown. I'm going to go through a few different things to do with social networking and sort of setting up your business online. <laughs> um, it's been brought to my attention, which with marketing survival skills, we teach a lot of various different things over time and sometimes people sort of get a little bit confused what they should be doing uh, with what they're doing each day online and always introducing new things you can do and that type of thing and it sort of gets a bit foggy uh, exactly what you should be doing. And this webinar is sort of targeted at people who are in multi-level marketing, affiliate marketing and also people who own businesses bricks and mortar. So I was going to go, a lot of the people who are in this webinar are actually, you know, got a lot of these things set up and know what to do. But at the same time, I thought it was worth going through and just sort of running through, you know, a little bit of an action plan on what you should be using online and and how you should be conducting business online. Just to sort of give you a guide. And for new people, uh, who are thinking of starting a business online or bringing their bricks and mortar business to online, uh, this will be a, so a guide. A calm cutting off and breaking up. It's a little bit better. Uh, just not much I can do about it. I'm using uh, the standard sort of mic at the moment. So Unfortunately, I use satellite, just to let you guys know, and it does have its moments, so. And Steve wants chickens. Okay, well, just to let people know who don't know me, I'm in Australia, and my name is David Detman, and I've been part of marketing survival skills for, oh, it's over 12 months now. Uh, pretty much since it got started, within the first you know, month it was started. And I've learnt a lot of different tricks and tools through marketing survival skills. And within one or two months being in marketing survival skills, I decided to start the social network toolbar. And a lot of the resources I'm going to go through today are on that toolbar, and the toolbar is 100% free. Now, I've found over the time online, one of the main things is, you know, is building relationships and giving people what they need. And that's how I came to build the social network toolbar and teach for marketing survival skills as well. So for people who are brand new, what you need to do is be on a couple of different social networks. Uh, the main one being Facebook. Uh, Google Plus is very new, uh, which we've been training on for the last couple of weeks. And LinkedIn, which is more directed at business, and a lot of people don't use it. I don't use it as much as I should, uh, but I would highly recommend spending some time on LinkedIn. We might actually do a webinar on LinkedIn. Uh, the other things you should have set up are uh, Twitter and YouTube, and for all these sites, you should have a profile about a bit about yourself, uh, without giving away your, you know your address or whatever, and a little bit about what you do without sounding too spammy. So what I'll do is first of all, I'll show people my Facebook profile.
I did, this is my wall, but we'll go to the info. With all these profiles, you want to look human. Now, my profile doesn't have a lot on it. I should really come and fill in more. It's just like it's so many people adding me to Facebook, I haven't really bothered. I a lot sort of chatted <laughs> since I sort of started using Facebook. Interesting. I don't even play games and I've got games I like on there. But it sort of you know, it has my information down the bottom. as websites. I should come in and thin this out a bit. Now it has my messengers, Twitter, Skype. And pretty much that's one of the first things you want to do have a personal profile so people can recognise who you are. Now I know for a lot of people on this webinar you already have this uh, but I'm just showing this for new people. Then the other thing you want to do is for your business or yourself or both have a this is just my personal one is have a fan page and you should have um, a lot of better information than I have on my fan page And then I also have one for the social network tool, but I have more than this. But This is the latest one I've been building. Now what you should really have is like a video, even an opt-in as well. Definitely have, have it set to go to this page or to have it go to a page where it has the information. So this is set to go to the basic information as default instead of the wall. Now if you have a um, FBML page, uh, you can have it set to go there as well. But this is, for beginners, this is the sort of thing you want to start with and then build up to something a bit more classy. Once again, I just have, have the wall. You can see I ping most of the stuff to these pages. Now the other thing you can do with Facebook is you can have a group. Now I've just got a group for the bonus tips. I only have one group. Uh, but my group has quite a following. So You know, in my group, I have 375 members. So if you're in some form of business or you want to target people, I would consider having a group as well. Okay, so it's sort of, you know, what I'm explaining here is sort of a crash course on Facebook. You do a webinar on all these sections. Now, we've... Now we have LinkedIn. Now I've accessed it through the toolbar. I don't remember my login for LinkedIn. <laughs> what I might do actually. So we'll go to the actual site. Should be on social networks. If it's not, I will put it there. No, it's here.
Okay, looks like I'm logged in here. Now, I haven't done a lot with LinkedIn, but if you're in a bricks and mortar business, or even affiliate marketing or multi-level marketing, I would definitely make sure you have a page here. You can see it's kind of crazy, but I haven't been here for ages, and you know, I've already you know, got posts coming through all the time. But I have my blog, my Twitter, You can see my activity via Twitter. Okay, and I should be in a lot more groups and associations. See, so, you know, video streaming through. <clears throat> But it's highly worth setting up a LinkedIn profile and I will do a webinar on that. So how many people just out of interest here in the webinar are, are using LinkedIn at the moment? Or well, you anyone here who didn't know about LinkedIn, just put an N. Cool rolling. Not very well, says Marcus. Look, I, I myself, I've got to be honest, I haven't used it a lot. I'm forever getting people asking to add me. <laughs> but it, it's definitely a site <clears throat> or a social network who's solely been designed for quality business. They don't tolerate a lot of garbage on here or a lot of spam. It's pretty much for businesses business people to connect with business people or businesses. Uh, but if you use it correctly, it can be very effective whatever business you're in. Like I've got a friend who's in a bricks and mortar business. Now I showed them a whole lot of uh, social networking sites. And out of every social networking site, uh, Link LinkedIn was the one which they use uh, and use it solely for their bricks and mortar business. It's kind of funny, which it's not as popular as Facebook for business, but anyway. Now, the, the next social network site you should be a part of, and pretty much most of you who attend my webinars are, is the Google Plus website. Yeah, for people who don't know about, <clears throat> excuse me, about Google Plus, it's very new. I believe it's still by invite. Uh, let us know if you want to invite here. But if you're in any type of business, I would highly recommend coming in here, getting a personal profile until there are business profiles and connecting with people. It's amazing uh, how many new people I've met through here and I haven't really tried to meet people. So I'll just quickly show you a profile. Okay, you got your post section. You got a about section. Photo section, video section. I know I'm going through these quick, but I don't want to spend too much time on it. And then you've got other Google services. Like if you're on Google Buzz, you can it adds that. Uh, there's a couple of things. I think Google Reader. Well, I've got plus ones at the moment. Okay. Anything I. A plus one, just to let people know, is just like a Facebook like. 
<clears throat> but the difference with this site to Facebook is you have these things called circles and you can just post to per people in circles. So if you're in different businesses, you have different business circles, you can have different family circles. That would be the defined difference, uh, which is the most highly selling point of this site compared to Facebook. Okay, so they're the three main social networks I'd recommend you you be on for whatever type of business you're in. Okay, now the next thing you should have is a Twitter account. So you can see, uh, if we go, when I was on LinkedIn, you see I was posting to tw posting Twitter posts across. Twitter is still a very good service for information. and to get information out fast. Now, on the social network toolbar, this is the interactive Twitter service. All you do is allow our third-party company's application. And you can pretty, pretty much access everything on here. But to make it bigger, I'll go directly to Twitter. So Twitter should be in social networks. And the strange thing is I don't really log into Twitter that much, but I send send out things on Twitter all the time. <laughs> And one thing I like about now too, we'll go to my profile and bring up things I send out. Now this originally came from YouTube, I believe. As you can see here, you can actually play the video directly from YouTube. And it works with pictures this way too. If you put a picture on there, uh, you can also send pictures. So quite a few people don't actually know which you can send pictures and video on Twitter. Twitter is like a good way to get people to follow you. Um, a lot of people say there's a lot of spam on Twitter, and there is. A real great way to get direct contacts, but you will get quite a few over time. But, for instance, if you had a bricks and mortar business and you know, say you had a shoe store and you were selling shoes, and you had a lot of you know, customers who are bargain hunters, add you to Twitter, you, know, you can broadcast out which you've got to sell on a certain line or something and you can have them flocking into your store. It's still very effective. I mean, I'd put out, you know, this broadcast here, see you tonight at 7 p.m. I can tell you when I put that out, uh, within about 10 minutes, I was going through um, who actually was coming to the webinar and there was a couple of people sign up. So it does still work. It's, it's a good arsenal in your tools. Now the next thing you should have, and I really want to stress this, is have a YouTube channel. If we go to YouTube, Even if you do not do video, I'll go to my channel. You want to have a channel. 
And I'll just try and catch the video before the sound goes spastic. <clears throat> this is my channel. Now I have a very effective video to start up. I have it on autoplay. Noise me at the best of times, but it's amazing how many people like it. Now, because I've got so many videos, I've sort of got a little bit of an issue with my YouTube. I've been to categories, so I have over 130 videos now. But with YouTube, if you don't want to do your own videos, that's fine. Personally, I recommend you do them in a very strong way. Everything I've signed up to, whether it be software or business opportunity, it's usually come from video and it's usually come from someone who I've got to know through video. Video is a very effective tool. Uh, most of the people who come to my webinars probably have watched videos before coming to my webinars and you know, even though you can't see me right now, most of you would know my face. You know, you'd even know my office layout. <laughs> so video can be very effective and I highly recommend that you do do a video yourself. Uh, but that's entirely up to you. But the way the internet is moving, uh, video and video conferencing are going to be the way of the future. You know, text messaging can be very effective, but video calling uh, and videos in general are the, the highest effective way of getting people to, to know you. Now, why I said you should have a YouTube channel regardless whether you have video is simply because you can actually put up, uh, you know, there's a couple of people in this room who sometimes put up my videos. Uh, they sometimes put up other people's videos. You can actually add playlists yourself. I'll just go into my account and show you how many playlists I now have. And it's very effective. You can actually get um, rated on YouTube for having playlists. You can see here, these are the playlists on the left here. All right. So you can have on your playlist, for instance, with a social network toolbar, we have the motivation section. Now, I'd love to spend time doing motivation videos, but I really don't have the time. So what I I do, and I have them on my side as well, is I come into YouTube, find motivation videos, and I have a motivation playlist. Like, for instance, relaxing movies. There's several different playlists for the motivation section actually come up in searches for motivation because I've got these playlists. And yes, it's perfectly legal to do it if these videos are public and they've got an embed code. Uh, simply because people who are using the embed code or choose to have the embed code there want their videos used. I don't mind people embedding videos. I love it. People do it all the time. Because if I choose, I can put a video up here which no one knows about uh, unless I give you the physical link, you'll never find it. So as a YouTube user, I have that option. So if I wanted to just give members marketing survival skills a video, I don't have to list it. So that's another thing you can do, uh, especially if you're getting started out and you're not comfortable with video is pick quality videos, put them in a playlist and have them on your YouTube channel. So, just reading my notes here. I really should have a slide for this. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, 
And the next thing you have need to have is some form of messenger. Now most people will just type in. Right. This is the most common messenger service used for business now, worldwide. Now look, I use Yahoo Messenger quite a lot. I've used it in the past. I use MSS, MSN, uh, sorry, uh, simply because it's used a lot in Australia. Different countries have different messengers which are more used and when you're targeting countries I recommend which you consider what messenger people more use. Like in the US it used to be you know, a few years ago everyone had Yahoo. In Australia everyone had MSN. Uh, so that was the difference. But across the board Skype I highly recommend which if you're getting started, have a Skype and consider also having a Skype chat room. Driver customers or people in your multi-level marketing business and your team, they're very easy to set up. They don't cost anything. It's, it's been the, with marketing survival skills, it's been the sole way of communication and just, you know, over, well, last 12 months let's say or 14 months you know just watching the chats in the chat rooms and picking up tips myself just from our own chat rooms uh, you know it's a great sort of way to mastermind with people so make sure you have Skype and also consider other messengers personally now I just use the other ones for personal and I tend to use Skype for business uh, so that's another thing you want in your arsenal and I know most of you have that but if you are delving into other countries just look at what messengers they use now the next part I'm going to cover is going through my notes here you either need a website or a blog now a lot of people even in business bricks and mortar are looking at just having a blog because it's simpler and they can get the word out faster. My recommendation is you set up a WordPress blog. It doesn't hurt to start with some of these other sites like Blogger or the site CAF is using on Friday's webinar. But if you really want to honestly get started uh, what you need is you need to have a, and a domain either set up for yourself, as in like uh, daviddetman.com. I don't even have that. <laughs> I have a few domains in my name. but Or a blog set up for the business you're in. And make sure this is a very, when, you, when you're doing a new blog, Make sure you really look into the domain name and think about the keywords which you're going to use in the future. So for instance, if I was going to sell Skype, I would want to have Skype somewhere in that domain. Now that's a pretty hard call probably, but if I was solely selling Skype products or products, towards Skype, I'd want to have Skype somewhere in that domain because Google is really going to look at that. And the other thing you can look at doing, and I haven't put this on the toolbar yet, but look at buying old domains because older domains are a lot easier to manage with Google. Okay, so if you buy an old domain and there's sites where you can bid on domains which are expiring, uh, you can certainly get more done because the older the domain, the easier it is to rank with Google. But there's nothing wrong with starting a new domain and having a couple of WordPress blogs, even having ones for individual businesses. So 
but I highly recommend you either have a website or have a WordPress blog. Uh, for people who are not in marketing survival skills, marketing survival skills actually gives out free hosting on their service and you can have multiple uh, WordPress sites or websites under different domains, but I will cover the end of the webinar. So they're, they're pretty much the things you need to set up your business. The other main thing you need is a mailing list. Now I'll just show you the one which we recommend. This is Traffic Wave. One, there's a couple of reasons why I personally like Traffic Wave. Uh, the main reason I actually like Traffic Wave is it's a double opt-in. Now a lot of people seem to not like double opt-ins features, but with a double opt-in you get a quality email list. People who actually sign up to your email system, uh, they pretty much are going to be people who read your email. I mean, there's, look, there's no point trying to sneak people onto an email list on a single opt-in and you know being very spammy about it. like I don't have a huge mailing list but I know every time I broadcast the list I've got I get a lot of activity back I've got quality people on my list who actually click things so traffic wave it's $17.95 a month uh, I'm not going to go into it too much uh, but pretty much you can have unlimited uh, emails on Traffic Wave and it's just $17 a month. So for instance, if you just have, say you've got 20 people, you're just starting out, and you see a deal for an autoresponder that says, oh, five a month or something like that. By the time you get up to a list of, you know, a thousand people on your list, you're going to be paying like $60 or something like that. With Traffic Wave, it's just $17.95 a month. It's very simple to use. I Originally, Marketing Survival Skills, the only way you could join Marketing Survival Skills was to be a Traffic Wave member, uh, but that, that has since changed. But I've only ever paid for it, uh, I think, the first month, uh, simply because people joined me in Traffic Wave, and I'm never going to consider changing autoresponders unless they change. So that's just a recommended one and there's a great affiliate program with it too uh, where it's multiple level where most affiliate programs for traffic responders aren't uh, multi-level, they're over one or two levels. Okay, so just going through the notes here. Does anyone have any questions so far? Uh, Susan's up. would that take place of AWeber? <clears throat> well, I'll just run through. There's a few differences between AWeber and Traffic Wave. Traffic Wave is a little bit more basic uh, when you get into things like split testing and that type of thing. Like if you're very techy on your list, you may find which AWeber is better for you, but you are going to pay for it. Uh, it personally, I was with uh, Get Response before I was with uh, this autoresponder, and I made the decision to recommend to my list which they come with me and <laughs> double opt in. Now, a lot of them didn't, but I'll be honest with you, the list I had over there that, that wasn't doing a lot for me. Like, I wasn't getting a lot of people on that list actually. Uh, reading my emails and that. So I decided to make a break. Now, a few people in marketing survival skills use both because they have big lists, want to lose their lists. Uh, if you have a list on Aweber and you want to consider moving over, I would keep your account with Aweber and let it sort of dwindle down and try and get people to opt into new lists on your second autoresponder, which would be Traffic Wave, if you wanted to move. But pretty much they are the same 
type of thing. It's just Traffic Wave is cheaper, but it's been around for I think at least ten years. Uh, after a year of using it, I've never had a problem with it. I like it. Uh, I've used AWeber on other people's accounts to see what it's like, and you know, between the three of them, I prefer this one. It's just simpler. It delivers things on time, and I know I never have to pay for it. Because if you if you sign up three people, just to let you know on this, and they use it, and they continuously use it, uh, you'll never pay for it. To the point, the way I get, I don't even get a bill. Like I don't have to pay through my credit card, and then get the money back. They actually take it out of the commissions. My my list. Now I don't have a huge list of people who are on affiliates, but I've found which that the traffic wave is just, you know, it's just slowly building, and I don't really promote it because other people find it beneficial and sell, you know, sell it to their people. It's just a great little system, and it does all the basic things you need. So I hope that was a long-winded question. But a lot of people ask, you know, uh, when we talk about Traffic Wave, you know, why should I move? They're the reasons I moved. If you're happy with, with AWeber or another one, you know, there's no reason why you can't use those. Just keep in mind, as your list builds with those other sites, you will get charged for it. So pretty much, if you're a new person, I'd seriously consider using this one. Uh, get back to the person who invited you here and see if they've got traffic wave. Um, because you can you sort of, you know, do an affiliate sort of thing with them and their team. Okay, so I'll, I'll move. Thanks for that question, uh, Susan. Has anyone else got any questions? I'm just going to read Cat and then I'll move on to the next section of the webinar. <clears throat> so far we've talked about uh, what social networks you should be on and building those profiles, having fan pages, uh, having a YouTube channel, having Twitter, uh, having Google+, LinkedIn, and the various Facebook tools. Okay, so then we've talked about either having a website or a blog or having a blog for your business as well. I mean, you want to stand out there as the person behind whatever business you're in. That's very important to you know keep your name in things. So first of all, you want to have a blog about you and then you want to have a business blog maybe once you sort of get really going. I mean, one of the things, just to let people know, one of the things I'm looking at doing is because there's such a demand right now for information on Google, I'm actually looking at doing a Google Plus blog, just simply because I've got so much on the other blog. I'll be putting stuff on both, but just to attract people who are using Google Plus, for the social network toolbar, I'm seriously looking at doing another blog just on that. You know, building a whole new WordPress site, the whole lot. Because one of the reasons I'll be doing that is if I can get the right domain names involved and I just solely put it around the keywords of, you know, Google Plus keywords, I'm going to get a lot more traffic from Google solely uh, because it's just continuously going to be on on that particular topic. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it. So, you know, you might want to consider that with a business or even a product. If you're an affiliate of some product, you can actually build like a WordPress blog uh, solely for that product. And I'm going to do some training on that down the track because I've been doing training on it. Uh, we can just keyword blog directly to get people to an affiliate page and there's a lot of ways to, to do that with affiliate marketing. Uh, okay, so now the other things we need to look at. When you're getting started, 
you need to look at how you can sort of get a few people on your Twitter, get a few people you know, on your fan page, get a few people on other sites, get your videos viewed, all that type of thing. I mean, that's one of the biggest struggles is getting people to actually view all these sites you put up and all this social media you put out. Now, I'm going to just quickly show you a site which is the most active at the moment. Now, this is under Tools on the toolbar. And it's under Social Network Building Tools. It's called You Like Hits. Now, this site has really, over the last probably month, exploding. <laughs> Because they've got so many features on here, it's, it's unreal. You've now got uh, Twitter, Facebook pages. Yes, actual Facebook likes are now working. You've got MySpace. You've got YouTube. You've got Google Plus. They've found a way where you can get Google Plus likes uh, for people who are using this site. You pretty much have to put an embed code for this site on a certain post just to let you know. Because when they first had it up, it wasn't working. You got Stubble Pond, you got Dig, you got your own website. So you can pretty much go in, and this works like Twins used to work. But I'll go view my history. <coughs> Now, whenever I want to push a video out, I use this site. Now, quite often, I just like pages to get hits on here. And I up and down uh, you know, how many hits or, or whatever uh, as I need them. So, for instance, at the moment, I sort of push in YouTube a fair bit and also pushing a third-party site. So you can see here, I've had this video viewed, I've had this video viewed, I've liked that page. Uh, someone else has liked the Social Network Toolbar page. Uh, I've liked the page, and so on. <coughs> so you can see, you know, I'm getting my page like, I'm getting my views on videos. Now, if I want to push a website more, or I want to push Twitter more, I can put the seeds up. But this is a really, it's a free site. It's a really good way to get things viewed. Just so it gives you a bit more authority. I wouldn't say, you know, spend all day doing this, but I've covered this quite often, and I've got videos on all these things for uh, new people. Because what I'm really doing uh, in the webinar is just doing a skim through covered and putting them all together. So if I was to go to Facebook, for instance, If I like this page, I get nine points. Let's try to think of the word they use here. It's points. Okay, so I just like it. Brings up a Facebook screen. And if you have too many Facebook likes, I do have a video on how to get rid of Facebook likes really quick. You can just sort of tick them off in a list. Okay, so I've liked this page. Then I tell it I've liked the page. It's telling me it can't verify it, but I'll do another one. Sometimes that happens. Skip. So once again, go through the process of liking.
Sometimes it takes a while for the button to actually click. I swear it's something Facebook's put in it. Slow it down. That does happen sometimes. Okay, so it has liked it now. And you don't have to do Facebook likes to get Facebook likes. Now you can view people's websites and then solely have people just liking the old page. This is like across media. So you can see I've got nine points there. So for instance, if I wanted to just go to websites, I can just visit this website. It's, it's a bit like those uh, surfing sites where you've got a counter. So after 29 seconds, I, I get a, another nine points. And you choose the points. So, you know, there's another eight seconds or whatever now. Okay, so it's adding the points. Okay, so I've got 13 points because if we go into my history, okay, I've had a couple of people visit sites in between. I think I've got that set to like four points or something like that. So this is a great way to get a little bit of traffic, sort of build up um, yeah, your video views, your Facebook page likes, and you can use it for anything you want, like dig. <laughs> Noel's asking about the roosters. Noel, I work for my, my farm in the Australian Hunter Valley and there's roosters all around so you just got to sort of put up with that. A few people here like Steve love them. <laughs> okay so that is just one way to, to get hits, get Twitter likes. Now the other thing you want to look at doing as well is once you get your blog going is you want to look at posting to article sites. You want to look at um, bookmarking on sites like uh, Dig, for instance. If I go to social networks, I might click on Dig. Oh, I'll do this one only because I found it. Double pond. Now these sites have been around for a long time and this is why I picked them. I've got to change my background. I still haven't done it yet. But these are sort of bookmarking sites. I mean you can see 100, 107 on Alexa. So I mean it's been long, been around longer on Facebook. If you look at shares, these are what people have shared with me. You know, I've got videos on my favourite interests on here. For instance, if I go to video. Um, can't see my screen at the moment. Shows how many visitors have been here. This is another way to get people to your content. Look at this as like a third party way to get people to your content. So it shows me the number of visitors who have visited my page. Let's try go back to home again.
I haven't put any interest on here for a while. Let's try to remember how to get to the content. <laughs> but just to quickly show you, I won't spend too much time. You can go through and put put your website, go through the process and put your website on here uh, with your latest post. And dig, I'll just quickly show you dig. When you're doing doing um, certain types of SEO, these sites are really good to send traffic to. It helps if I was on social networks. Right. I was meant to put dig up here and I didn't. Dig is in social bookmarking. So these are these are sites which you want to consider putting putting your interest as a third party alternative. Like every time you do a blog post, come and dig it. These are like submissions for instance. And you can see I've got 129 followers now. Most of those followers have come from uh, that site I was showing you, you like hits. You can see I'm digging videos on, you know, everything I do, I put up here. It just gives a bit more authority. One, with Google. Uh, two, if people are clicking across, say if it's going to my blog, I mean, these are going to YouTube, I think. So, but I've got going across. Now, the other two sites... Well, let's see, there's a few. Let's try to remember now where I'm heading with this. <laughs> We're getting so much stuff up here, I kind of forget where things are. I don't think I'll put it up yet. I'll do hub pages then. Another great way to get traffic from a third party site is hub pages. Now these are the ones I'm showing aren't, aren't the only ones. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of once you've got your blog going, ways you can promote your blog. I can't remember the blog. I hope that's right. Because I signed up for our pages a long time ago. A couple of years ago, I think. But you can pretty much put content on here. Uh, and direct it to wherever you want. Now, if I go to my account, now when I started using Hub Pages, uh, for people who don't know, I I run a couple of dating sites. Well, I virtually have them run by someone else now. They're affiliate sites, but they're in my name. But I did a lot of content on dating, as you can see. But just to show you, the reason I'm using this as a sample, I'm still getting clicks from here through to the dating sites today. So 
ever, if you look at the ever, I've had 11,460 people visit. Now, hub pages aren't easy to build. See how they're saying these are duplicates? I have no idea why they say they're duplicates, considering which I made the content and the videos, but anyway. But I, I also use this, as you can see now, uh, for the social network toolbar. Now, the other one, too, is Squidoo. I'll just search that. I think that's the way you spell it. It's another way to get tent out there. Now I do have a we do page, but I'll just so like quickly show you this one. But it's very much like hub pages. And there's a few article sites you should consider as well. We're sort of running out of time, so I won't go into that to too much depth. But as you build, you want to have third-party uh, sites where you've got content and link them back to your main content. <clears throat> now, very, there are ways to also broadcast a whole lot of social networks. Uh, the main way we use on the social network toolbar is ping. Okay. Now, I'll just show you ping very quickly. This will ping to uh, pretty much a lot of different sites. All right, this is another free service. Thanks, Marcus, for coming. All right, so I won't go into this too much detail because we are getting to the top of the hour. But once you've got your site up and you're doing posts on your blogs, you can sign up to a whole lot of different social network sites and just ping out whatever you want. Uh, very quick and very fast to Twitter, Facebook pages. Uh, well, this goes on. You can ping out YouTube videos. There's just a whole lot of sites you can do it to here. So they take a lot of time to set up a lot of these sites. See if I can log in on this computer. I don't usually use this computer. Let's quickly show you what I post out to. The, on the left here, all the sites I'm posting to. So if I, I if I want to, I could just type in, "Hi guys." Just doing a web nah. I'd say hi. Now you can put links in here and videos in here. They will actually shorten the link for you. Okay, so that just went out to every one of these sites. Okay. Now, for who use, and I won't be going into this, but for people who use, uh, what's the site, Hootsuite, you can actually, if you're using Hootsuite, you can ping across to Hootsuite. So, I'm sorry, you can send to ping via Hootsuite. Because Hootsuite is for when you have multiple accounts. So, you have five Twitter accounts, or you have five Facebook accounts or something like that. Uh, that's where people tend to like Hootsuite to double up their messages. But personally, I use Ping, but you can use the two together. You can also, for those people who use FriendFeed, uh, you can send stuff to FriendFeed and sort of ping-pong stuff all over. Uh, there's 
There's various different sites like this, uh, but this is the main one I use as it has the most. So that's one way of broadcasting out. Now, what you need to do is consider whatever business you're in, consider what is your end goal. Now, I've showed you uh, sort of skimming through today or tonight. Uh, the social net media sites, uh, you know, setting up a blog or a website, uh, how to sort of get a few people viewing your content and, you know, a few ways to get more traffic to your site using article sites. I didn't really cover article sites. I more covered the main bookmarking and uh, third-party sort of sites. But you want to also do articles as well. And you want to make your articles different to what's on your blog. Like, don't just copy content off your blog. And then a way to sort of broadcast any new content out. So who is following you wherever you are on the internet? Yeah, like I'm posting here to Blogger. Yeah, that's a blogging website and I never go there. But people read my content on Blogger. And how cool is that? So this is pretty much how you broadcast out. But what you really need to do is... Say so, yourself, well, what is my end goal? What am I trying to achieve? Am I trying to get people to read my blog? Am I trying to get people to sign up to something? Am I trying to build relationships? And what you need to do okay, each week, each month, uh, and so, so on, is review what you're doing, see what's working for you. Now, some of these methods take a while to build up. Uh, and, and try and reach that end goal. And what you need to do is have a daily method of operation on exactly what you do. So you might write a blog, for instance, then you might broadcast it out. You might do one video a day, you might broadcast that out as part of the blog, but also broadcast it to a whole heap of video networks. I mean, that's another huge thing. I mean, here we've got, and these aren't all of them, I've got to put a whole lot more on, but these are a whole lot of video networks you can broadcast out to. You might want to, you know, build a whole lot of photos up and broadcast them out to a whole lot of photo networks with keywords in them. There's a whole lot of different things you need to do. And with this webinar, what I've tried to do is just show you an overall sort of method you can set up and I'm sure you've got things you do now, and you know I'm not saying to do a step-by-step -step guide here. I'm just showing you a few things I do each day, and once you set them up, they're not that hard to do. Okay, so but write down a list. I have most people would know who watch my videos in the background, and I have a list of everything I do each day. And look, it doesn't always happen. And sometimes, some days I just broadcast out a whole lot of videos. Some nights I can make up to 10 videos and, you know, but I then review my week and see, well, did I actually get all those things done? Why didn't I get them done? I sometimes sit there and go, okay, I've worked for four hours now. What am I going to do? What did I do? Did I achieve the goals or did I waste a whole lot of time reading spam email or talking to people? So you need to sort of have a routine and, you know, custom that routine all the time and review it and ask yourself every time, the thing I'm doing right now, how is this going to get me to my end goal? So I just thought I'd, I'd put that in. Um, at the sort of end of the webinar now. For people who have been sitting here, and I appreciate it, guys, I'm just going to show you about marketing survival skills. Uh, my, marketing survival skills right now, just to let you know, is free, so it's a good time to jump on board. The reason marketing survival skills is free is simply because marketing survival skills is upgrading its website. 
This is marketing survival skills here. Okay. Now there's a bunch of training in here. Uh, and the, then there's a whole lot of webinar archives. For instance, that's last year. This is this year's. Just sort of break them down this year. <clears throat> well, one of the things marketing survival skills does, and I'll just bear with me, I'll bring up the page. So I've been with marketing survival skills for over a year, year now, and I've learned a lot of stuff from marketing survival skills. Here we go, this is the one I want. Now someone here tonight invited you to this webinar, for those people who aren't a member. And they may have invited you via video, they may have invited you via a Facebook event, a blog post, an email. It's very important what you get back to that person because if you do that tonight, you'll get into marketing survival skills for free and have access to all the trainings. There's other people. I'm not the only person who trains for marketing survival skills. Uh, there's also a couple of other people who train for marketing survival skills. So you get a good combination of people who have different ideas and different areas of expertise are pretty much one of the main things marketing survival skills has done recently is offer this free and I mentioned this earlier in the webinar this free hosting and bandwidth package now usually just to let you know marketing survival skills is ten dollars a month and that's for everything. The hosting is just chucked in. Uh, but if you sign up for our account now, you can get your hosting free until we go back to charging. Uh, and you can have multiple websites or WordPress blogs. We have a 24-hour support group on Skype where you can just ask questions related to marketing, uh, pretty much, or social networking. Uh, the social network toolbar also has that system in place. The sort of two work together. The step-by-step -step videos, all right, uh, covering in more detail on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we have one person who teaches for marketing survival skills at the moment who does a lot of SEO. Uh, who's named Adam. He's actually doing a Thursday webinar on Facebook so that people know. So you can ask the person who invited you for the link to that webinar. <clears throat> we have se several trainings each week. It varies from time to time on demand. Uh, but Adam and myself do just trainings for people in marketing survival skills. There's other leaders who come in and do trainings as well. But pretty much we try try and uh, help you, you know, on a one-to-one -one level as much as we can. Uh, with the new website, these are the current captured pages you can use if you've got an autoresponder and you want somewhere to sort of send people. Uh, but there will be a lot more and a lot more custom. There is one custom one here at the moment. But for instance, you can start a mailing list and you can give away this social media master series. And in the pre-written autoresponders, I know with Traffic Wave and I know they've set it up for Aweber as well, but you can put in certain uh, signatures which will, while you're promoting this series, will also promote your business. So it's a great way to give away something free. Uh, to people and get them to sign up to a mailing list. Okay, so you pretty much get all this. You get you know, 24-hour Skype support. You get web hosting if you want it. You don't have to have that, uh, but it will save you a lot of money, especially if you're getting started. All you need to do is buy a domain and 
point the name service to the to the site once you've signed up and you know you're ready to go. And it, like I say, it's ten dollars a month now. If you sign up someone to marketing survival skills, out of that ten dollars, you get five dollars a month. So it's a pretty cool payment system. Uh, but right now, uh, as the site's been, you can access everything which I showed you on the toolbar here, which is pretty much most of it's still valid, especially the webinar archives. You can pretty much access everything on here 100% uh, free at the moment. You can just all you need to do is get back to the person who invited you to this webinar and they will give you their username link and they can help you get set up. Now as for the social network toolbar, it's also 100% free and I will give that link out for people. You don't have to be a member of marketing survival skills to use this toolbar. Pretty much what this is, is this toolbar is for everybody who's got an online business, uh, but we've been in partnership with Marketing Survival Skills to sort of put their training on there. I've got a bunch of training on there as well, but this is the easiest link to sign up. It works on Firefox, Explorer, and Safari, and... <laughs> Chrome, let's try and think of Chrome. Now there's a whole lot of my trainings on here. Uh, just to let you guys know, there's a, there's a whole lot of new Google videos on here. And I've accessed them via the bonus tips. And there's more to come yet on Google. These are the basic ones. Go into the ones which are a bit more complicated for Google, but they're also here as well. But these are just the basic things about Google Plus for those members who have been following it. Um, they only got put up last night, my time. So make sure you uh, get back to the person who you invited. You should see in the chat box uh, the link to the toolbar. Okay, I'm just going to go back to the questions before we go. Uh, how do you install the MSS web pages and videos on your toolbar for easy? Uh, no, how do you mean? Like, are you talking about the social network toolbar? Are you talking about, you know, bookmarking as such on, you know, either whatever browser you use. You still there, no? <laughs> okay, the site's bookmark. If you download the toolbar and guys you can custom this toolbar too I'm not going to go into that because literally just to let you know the thousands of applications you can add to this toolbar this toolbar is set up in a default way this particular plugin is not a default plugin no that's fine though but these are all default buttons. Now you can actually remove these buttons. There's even more on here. Okay, we've got the radio, weather, uh, eBay, Google Maps. You know the list goes on. Okay, but you can come in and change. Simply go tool options. You can take these out. You can take any of these out. You're going to add components, say you use uh, Microsoft, you can add Microsoft. Okay, these are the apps I'm using at the moment for various demonstrations, all right? 
Now at the moment I've turned these ones off, but the stopwatch is on. Okay, there's a lot of things you can do with the toolbar. As you see it now, apart from this application, this is the default toolbar. And depending on your screen sizes to how much you're going to see across here, you may not see all this on your screen. So if you want to, for instance, get the marketing survival skills stuff and you're a member, it's already there for you. The bonus tips, all these are already there for you. And the thing about this toolbar is it's growing and growing and growing. Like I'm sort of just coping with adding new content for you guys with it. Uh, but as it grows, you know, there'll be a lot more things on here. I mean, like, for instance, there's a lot of sort of trainings here now. You don't have to be a member to access my trainings. Okay. The newer trainings are sort of just for the toolbar. It's like Google Plus. I've only been covering Google Plus for the last probably three weeks. And we put all this stuff for Google Plus on there. Videos, playlists, how to invite people. You know, these are trainings I've, I've done. I haven't even put the webinars up on here yet. So as, as things build and develop, I just add things to it for you guys. And if you're part of the social network toolbar Skype, you can ask to have websites put on there. Uh, you know, if you've got recommendations, all you need to do is side Skype me and I'll put it in the chat for you you're not a member. You can add my Skype and I'm happy to talk more. Uh, for mar marketing survival skills, just make sure you get back to the person who invited you or you can Skype me and if you're not sure and I'll try and find that person for you. I've got records of who invited who. So. For, for the marketing survivor skills part, just get back to who invited you. For the social network toolbar part, uh, you can just download that and if you've got any questions, you can ask me on Skype. So guys, thanks for coming to this webinar. Sorry it's been a long webinar. I just I hope that sort of gave you an insight to sort of the overall picture of social networking. Um, like I say, with a lot of the things which I covered, I've got videos on. So if there's any area which you want, uh, either use the toolbar or if you're not sure how to find things on there, just side Skype me. Okay, thank you once again, and I will see you on my next webinar for members. That's Friday, and there also is a webinar on Thursday with Adam for guests. Uh, get back to the person who invited you to this webinar and they can invite you to that webinar. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, see you guys.